woman as she finds herself. My character is the servant. Uh, she is Helen's Egyptian kind of lady in waiting that's been with her for the 17 years that she's been in this hotel room. So uh, they're really, really close. You know, they've been together for a super long time, but they're also kind of sick of each other. Um, there's kind of a lot of back and forth between Helen and the servant. Um, and the servant in this play functions, since it's a modern adaptation, it's, she's the Greek chorus uh, in absentia. The play is a modern adaptation of the Greek play by Euripides. In this version, she is, doesn't ever go to Troy. She doesn't go there. She is sitting in a hotel room in Egypt, and she is supposed to stay there and wait for her husband, Menelaus, to come back after the war and pick her up. Hi, um, I'm Alexa Dynstra. I'm the costume designer for Helen, and in addition to that, I'm a costume shop employee, so I work a little bit on actually building the costumes that I draw. Well, Helen's main dress is inspired uh, by the, the white halter dress that Marilyn Monroe wears in the Seven Year Itch, and that's one of the very iconic dresses uh, that, that she wears. She's wearing it in most of the pictures that you see of her. Um, and I guess we wanted Helen to be something iconic, like Marilyn Monroe. I've been building the costume for Athena um, from scratch. Uh, it's got armor. It's called an Aegis. It's this armored collar thing worn by um, Athena in a lot of the representations of her in like, sculpture. And she also has the hoplite helmet, and she also has this belt, and um, I've been making them all out of industrial felt, which is very thick, kind of itchy, and a little bit tricky to work with. Probably the most exciting thing about this show is the humor that's in it. It's very, very, like, dark, ironic, like, kind of, you know, off to the side humor. This show is funny in that how it comments on society is just an interesting way to look at it. You, you see yourself in the show, you realize, I do those things, or, yes, I have seen that view of things. On a more serious note, I think that college students can really get into the show. The reason that I was attracted to it was because it's it's a story a lot about self-discovery, um, which is kind of, you know, the point of college, about um, your self-image, what you want to be, how you want others to see you, and kind of, at the same time, taking responsibility for that self-image and um, for what you do and what you put forth.